Hey everyone and welcome back to VFXY once again. So in today's video, we are going to see basic setup for compositing. How we can import our render data inside Nuke and how we can do our color management for compositing. Yes, today's video is going to be a very interesting video. So without any delay, let's get started. Okay, as you can see over here, I have a setup like you can easily see I have my render passes and I have my base plate, right? But there is a problem. Now let's discuss what is the problem, right? So as you can see over here, I have a very dark output from Maya and but in Nuke, you can easily see the output is very brighter, right? So why this changes is coming? Probably you guys are aware about that in Maya 2023, the basic color management is ACES, right? So what we need to do, we need to set up our Nuke for ACES workflow, right? So how we can do that? Let's see. So I need to go to project setting by hitting S on keyboard and just go to color. And in color, you need to change color management from Nuke to OCIO, right? And after changing OCIO, you have to change one more thing which is OCIO configuration and here you have to select ACES 1.1 right so now your CG passes is matching with your Maya render but your footage or your scan plate is getting darker right so how we can fix it although I'm not saying this is the only technique to fix it but this is working in my case, right? So what I can do, I can just double click on my scan plate and by default color space is matte paint, which is like ACES is detecting ki this would be the better or this would be the best color space for input. And remember my scan plate color space is sRGB, right? So what I have to do, just double click over here, go to color space, go to color space one more time. And in output, you have to select output sRGB. So once I'm going to select my output sRGB, so automatically I can easily see I am having a better scan plate version in SS. Again, I'm saying this is working fine for me. If you are facing any other problem, you have to figure it out what is best for you, right? Okay, apart from this, one more thing we have to take care about that lens distortion, right? So if you remember, if you're following this series from first video, in first video, we have talked about lens distortion correction, right? But what happens when you are doing your final compositing, you have to re-distort your CG renders, right? So I have my lens distortion over here. So let me introduce, I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it over here. For the sake of better understanding, I'm going to delete my reformat. What I have to do, you have to take care about that your project is set to as per your scan plate, which is 2K DCP and just take a node called reformat. I'm going to connect my reformat over here and keep it in mind. One more thing you have to take care about resize tab should be none, right? And you can do preserve bounding box. Apart from that, you have your lens distortion data, which I have discussed earlier in my first video. So what you can do just you can connect over here. And if I'm going to see, you can easily see I have my distortion back. Can you see that? Right. And if I'm going to see my final output, this will be my distorted version. Can you see that how difference we are getting, right? So this is the way how we have to introduce distortion to redistort it, right? Now let's set up new for shader rebuild. What I mean by shader rebuild, shader rebuild is something we are going to split each and every aspect of our render passes like light passes, like reflections, like specular. And we are go going to combine all these render layers so that we can control it in a better way, right? So let's do that. I'm going to detach it. Let's delete it. And before starting anything, I'm going to connect one node called layer context sheet. And with the help of layer context sheet, we can see how many passes we have. We can do show layer name and center. So we have depth pass, we have ambient occlusion, we have normal pass, we have point position pass, we have UV pass, 
rim light you cannot see anything in rim light so that i have to increase it so you can see we have rim light we have key light we have hdri light and we have fill light probably i need to crank it up we have face light and we have albedo crypto assets and we have probably we are having shadow mat we have specular we have many thing indirect direct but i'm not going to use direct and indirect and motion blur and specular indirect so that passes i'm going to use right so let's set up our new and i'm going to take a dot node let's take a dot node again and i'm going to take a shuffle node so in shuffle node first thing first what i'll do see again i love to start with my lighting passes but if you're okay to start your compositing with the albedo pass and ambient occlusion pass you are free to do that there is no such template that you have to start with light pass or you have to start with ambient occlusion pass it's not like that you have to do whatever you are comfortable in right so i will start my compositing with my light passes so i'm going to select my key light first so this will be my key light and in key light so as you can see over here i'm not getting my layer name so just go to node and type bracket value in and bracket close so as i'm going to type this you can easily see my layer name suppose that if you're using new 13 14 15 you have to put value in space one and then bracket close automatically you you'll get your layer name so i'll start with my key light and i'm going to duplicate it control c control v and i'm going to shuffle my probably rim light and i'm going to take a merge node so this will be b my first node will be b my second node will be a and i'm going to plus it always remember any light passes we have to plus it so don't worry if i want to increase my rim light probably i will crank it up but not right now just i am rebuilding my shaders right again i'm going to control c and control v right now i'm going to shuffle my fill light and same way i'm going to take a merge node and plus it right again control v just take another node and this will be probably my face lights face light one see this is my face light and i'm going to plus it same way i'm going to paste it connect it i'm going to shuffle my face light two and i'm going to plus it right same way i'm going to shuffle my speculars so i have two speculars like specular direct and another one is specular indirect specular indirect like this so let me check if we have yeah very little we have but i'm going to use it let's merge together first and i'm going to plus it over here and again i'm going to take a merge node and i'm going to plus it with my rest passes right this will be plus so this is my passes setup now what i'm going to do i'm going to take my background i'm going to take merge this will be my b and this will be my a just to check my positions right and after changing it you can easily see i am not getting my character on actual position so the problem is i haven't applied my lens distortion so i'm going to copy it i'm going to paste it and i'm going to connect it and as i'm going to connect these two nodes you can easily see i'm having my full setup but the problem is i'm getting two harsh shadows why because if you can see over here individual passes and i'm going to hit alpha in every layer i am having my shadows right so what's happened every time i'm plusing it my alpha is getting doubled right by doing it what i'm introducing i am introducing my pre multiplication error right pre multiplication error has uh, uh, nothing but it's multiplying your alpha again and again every time you are plusing your passes you are adding same amount of alpha in previous alpha so what's happening your alpha is getting solid and solid over edges and pre multiplication is getting neglected right what i mean by saying this let me show it to you if i'm going to see alpha 
over here my alpha is pretty uh, soft but if i am going to see over here just look at over here can you see my alpha is getting solid again solid solid every time i am plusing it i am adding my alpha by same value so to fix it there are multiple ways to do it another way uh, to fix it is pretty simple so the problem is coming from merge so you have to fix it in merge right something like that so what i'm going to do just see i'm going to see through here and in merge we have an option called output right so i'm going to use rgb rather than rgba and once i'm going to do that just notice over here your alpha will be fine at the end right just i'm going to double click over here just look at over here and i'm going to do rgba rather than rgba i'm going to use rgb and your alpha is getting fixed like this can you see that so this will be the easiest way to fix your pre multiplication error and i hope this will work right let me check one more time yeah it's all okay all okay all okay and if i'm going to see over here now i am not getting any pre multiplication error but the problem is your shadow is gone right so how we can fix it how we can fix our shadow it's pretty simple i have a pass called match shadow i'm going to control c control v and i'm going to connect it and i'm going to shuffle my shadow mat right so once you are going to select your shadow mat so something like that you will get so you need not to worry just you have to invert it right i'm going to invert my shadows so i'm getting this result if you want you can change contrast to it but for a safer side i'm going to merge it directly if i will be needing definitely i'm going to change it so i'm going to multiply it right so if i'm going to multiply it, it you can easily see i am getting only my shadows but nothing else right can you see that 1 2 1 2 and if i'm going to see through here my shadows are not matching can you see that why because i have to apply my lens distortion data to my shadows as well like this so if i'm going to add it you can easily see my shadows data are applied correctly right but if you notice my shadows are little reddish right but if i'm going to see my shadow information of my scan plate you can see easily we have some sort of bluish data right so how we can fix it i'll go over here i'll take a grade node and in grade node i'm going to change gamma and i'll add little tint to it like bluish tint right if i'm going to check now i am getting my shadows little bluish can you see that so this is the way this is pretty basic way to start your compositing so if i am going to play it probably it won't play it will take time to buffer let it buffer okay so as you can see over here i am getting my character in my scene although my lighting is not matching lighting is matching but the black point and white point is not matching we are going to do it in next session but as you can see pretty basic i have splitted my all passes and if i want to change any pass at any given time i can do that so i think uh, that's it for today's video and in next video i am going to explain and i am going to take you through a uh, more advanced stuff so hopefully this video will help you to understand the basic way of setting your aces workflow and basic shader rebuild i hope this video is help you and if you think that this video is helping you please don't forget to like this video share this video and if you're new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe with this said this is wfxy signing off have a good day